الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأصلم على من بعث رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Have you ever reflected, have you ever thought about the great blessing of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the blessing in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala sending the messenger, the final messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to this Ummah have you ever reflected on what it actually means? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ بَعْثَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ That indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has really favoured and blessed this ummah or the believers. He has given them a special favour when he sent a messenger from amongst them, from amongst themselves. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the word man, you know, laqad manna Allah. Here al minna is actually, it means al ni'mah al thaqila. It doesn't mean just any blessing. It means a heavy, an enormous blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent. So we have to really reflect on this point in this ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has truly sent a huge blessing by way of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In another part of the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا If you were to count the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you would never be able to enumerate them. One of the opinions is this blessing referred to here, referred to here is actually the blessing of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, but we can only value a blessing if we know its true worth. Let's see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to the Prophet sallallahu how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us of the great position the Prophet sallallahu has with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See in this surah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that وَلَا سَوْفَ يُعْتِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى That soon your Lord shall give you and you will be pleased. Everything we do, we do to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray, we give uh, zakat, we give charity, we fast, whatever it is we try and do until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased. But here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is consoling the Prophet in Mecca, saying that we don't worry when the uh, Quraysh were saying, your Lord has deserted you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, no, he has not deserted you. And he says, don't worry, he will give you, he will give you from his bounty and blessings until you are pleased. Meaning, he's talking to the Prophet to comfort him so that he knows for, for a surety that the Messenger وسلم, will be pleased, will be content, will be joyous from the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And apart from this, this is the Prophet وسلم, who is the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Habibullah. He is also Khalilullah, not just Ibrahim alayhi salam, but also the Prophet وسلم, is the friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is also the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to directly, not just Musa alayhi salam. He is also the one who was elevated to the seven heavens uh, in, in Isra and Miraj to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the leader of the creation. He is uh, the Imam of the Mursaleen. He is the Imam of all the messengers. He is the seal of the messengers, the one who will be given the major intercession on the day of judgment and whose intercession will be accepted. So this is a huge blessing. He is the one who speaks nothing but revelation and he is the one who is blessed in his name Muhammad means the one who is continuously blessed how many Muslims from the day the Prophet was uh, given the, the prophethood until the Yawm al Qiyam, until the last day, day of judgment how many billions of Muslims will be sending peace and blessings on the Prophet in every salah in every uh, majlis of hadith, in every majlis of knowledge, in every time that somebody mentions the name of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa how many millions and billions of Muslims will be praising him and sending him salutations? He is the one who, if you send salutations once to, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala returns that by tenfold. So this is very briefly some of his uh, qualities and virtues. So once we know that, we realize this huge blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent. Now, what is it we have to do in return? Every noble person returns a favor when a favor is done unto him. What is it we have to do? We have three basic things to do in return. So in return of this favor, 
this huge blessing. We have three basic duties. The first one is to obey the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa to believe in him and obey him. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ that say, um, if you indeed love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then follow me, i.e. the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they say, Allah is saying to him to say this to the people, if you love Allah, then follow me, um, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you. Ati'u Allah wa ati'u Rasul. You know, um, obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obey the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it's not just this kind of um, mystical love that you can have with the Prophet, for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa or this veneration at a distance. No, there's a practical connection, which is we have to obey his commands. We have to obey his um, his advice, his counsel, his whatever he came with from the deen. We have to obey him in, in the matters of Sharia. So that's number one. Number two is the necessity to love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As the Prophet Sallallahu said in, in a Sahih Hadith that none of you should believe until I am more beloved to him, then his father, then his parents, uh, then his children and his parents and all the people. And nas ajma'in. So none of you shall have full faith, none of you shall have full faith or perfect faith until I become more beloved to him than his parents, his children and all of the people. And in another hadith, more than his wealth and his family, etc. So this is the second obligation. The third one is to respect and praise the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi to honor him and to defend his deen and to be ambassadors for the correct understanding of his deen, to defend his message, to defend his honor. This is the third duty. And lastly, I will say that this blessing, the first ayah that I recited uh, about this huge blessing, لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ This verse comes in between the verses that were describing uh, the loss of Uhud. So in a way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding the believers that no matter what loss you face, no matter what troubles you face, no matter what um, trials and tribulations you face, the thing that can get rid of that grief and anxiety and sense of loss, sense of um, hardship, is remembering the blessing. And there is no greater blessing than the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.